Hello everybody, Josh Joel back here again with another video and I'm here with my official review for Game of Thrones Season 6 Episode 1. Yes, the Season 6 premiere of Game of Thrones is officially out and I'm here to give you my official review on it. But of course, if you haven't seen it, please go check it out because this review may contain spoilers. But that being said, let's get into HBO's. Game of Thrones. So, Game of Thrones is officially another TV show I'll be reviewing on my channel. I don't know if I'm going to do it by a week-by-week -week basis, but I'll definitely be back for the finale, and I'm excited for this overall season. But as it stands, this episode was basically what you would expect this episode to be. I mean, unlike most seasons on Game of Thrones, or with most TV shows, usually in between gaps of seasons, we take place a couple months, couple weeks, maybe a couple years after the events of a previous season. However, this one is pretty much the first season that were taking place exactly right after the events of the f of the previous episode, which was the finale of season five. However, I'm still excited and I'm definitely interested to see what's going to go down. But as it stands, it's pretty much just a recap and aftermath of season five. That's what this premiere episode is. And we get to see the fate of Jon Snow. Allegedly, we get to see what happened to Daenerys when she was captured by the Kalisar. We got to see what happened. Uh, did, you know, Ramsay capture Sansa? You know, did freaking what happened to Arya? Is she still blind? You know, what happened to, you know, all these different factors? What's happening on King's Landing? You know, there's a lot of wacky shit going down. At the end of the day, this was a recap and aftermath uh, episode, so, at the end of the day, Jon Snow is still dead, I wish we could have gotten more of a definitive answer, because the Jon Snow debacle is still an, an ambiguous, up in the air kind of thing, I'm pretty sure the writers and creators will stick to their guns and say, no, he's dead, he's dead, stop talking about it, he's freaking dead, let it go, he's kind of, they're kind of like Malcolm McDowell Halloween 2, they're just like, you know, Jon Snow is fucking dead, you know, so that's kind of like, what they're going to go with, but as it stands, the episode kind of doesn't give you that. It's almost like he's dead all throughout the episode. However, there's a lot of foreshadowing for future episodes to his dead body. You know, you have Melisandre over here who's, you know, going cuckoo kachu in the frickin' in the castle. And then you have the other guy who's, like, leaving to get... Who is he getting? Is he getting Sam? Is he getting the wildlings to fight back the, the asshole with the bastard kid who aged, like, dramatically from last episode? What the heck is going on with that guy? So there's a lot of stuff that's up in the air with Game of Thrones and Jon Snow the character. However, for the most part in this episode... He's freaking dead, so there's not really much to say on that front. Secondly, the Daenerys uh, debacle. Overall, I was kind of disappointed with the, 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 the Daenerys subplot because she was captured by a gigantic Kalisar. I mean, this is like the biggest Kalisar we've seen, so I was expecting a big, gigantic cow to really, like put John, uh, Jason Momoa Aquaman to shame. However, we didn't really get that, seeing as how the actor didn't really feel... Or at least the, the character that the actor is portraying didn't really feel that menacing, nor did he feel that, you know, just intimidating. He just felt like a normal dude who's wearing a wig, you know? That's pretty much what he looked like, and I was hoping for something a little bit more epic to that character. And granted, there's only one Jason Momoa in the world, and he's freaking Aquaman, so I can see why... You know, you would get another guy who's kind of like, whatever, but as it stands, I was kind of disappointed with the events that took place with Daenerys and her confrontation with the cow. Um, but as it stands, I, I did have to admit that there were some cool interactions between the two, and I definitely would say that Daenerys name-dropping Cal Drogo um, was a really good highlight of the episode, because granted, she been banging a lot of guys lately, and you know, she's freaking leader of a fucking place that you know, doesn't like her, and what have you, and she has freaking gigantic dragons, you know, so she's come up in the world since season one, but it's still kind of cool to be like, yeah, she still thinks about that guy who's been dead for a long fucking time, and, you know, he's, he's freaking Aquaman now, so it's kind of cool to see that factor, but overall, the episode subplot of Daenerys was kind of boring in my front. Uh, moving off of that, the Sansa Stark stuff was another real big highlight I really enjoyed. I'm really kind of interested to see where uh reek or you know theon the character kind of goes from here because at the end of the day he's going to get murked by ramsey once he gets caught so it's going to be interesting where he can go from here because he's pretty much fucked over him and now is helping sansa get away 
And on top of that, you have Brienne coming in, freaking laying down her sword, kicking ass, um, something she definitely didn't do in Star Wars, and freaking just dominating the fucking scene. And of course, laying down her sword for Sansa to be her ward, if you will. And overall, that was a gigantic highlight. The second she came in on horseback, I was full on to the scene. And I'm definitely interested to see where the Sansa Stark storyline goes from here. Um, I definitely liked a lot of it, but it's very interesting to see where it, you know, ends up in this season. But moving off of that, got to see uh, Cersei's reaction to her daughter being dead. You know, you got Jamie talking shit about, like, we're gonna fuck up Dorne for this, you hear me? You know, and all that kind of wacky nonsense. And over at Dorne, someone fucking dies, wheelchair guy. There's a lot of fucking wacky. It's pretty much a typical episode. Other than just being a recap and a freaking, you know, aftermath video of just picking up the pieces of what happened previously. It's also very much a typical episode. It's a lot of foreshadowing, a lot of cursing. There's a naked chick somewhere in there and some people die. That's pretty much happened and people get fucked over. That's pretty much what happened in this episode. There's a lot of shit going on all in that episode. And... There's some of it that's really cool, some of it that was fun, some of it that were on my highlights list, but most of it was kind of just boring, and I think that's the biggest thing to take away from it, and I think the big standout of that was not to mention um, the specific stuff that happened with Daenerys and the Kalasar, um, with the exception of the Khal Drogo name drop, however, the Arya Stark stuff, I mean, I never thought I would say this, but... The Sansa Stark stuff is becoming more interesting than the Arya stuff. I don't know why, but I've just, like, ever since last season to now, I just don't care about the Arya Stark storyline. I mean, like, where's she gonna go from here? I mean, no, number one, she went over to that fucking goofy freaking douchebag, you know, fucking place, the House of Black and White, to learn magical powers and abilities or whatever so she can kill fuckers. And this asshole with the bad wig fucking takes away her eyes. What happens now? What do we do? She's fucking blind. She's fighting some asshole who's probably not even a girl i don't even know what that is with the stick there's a lot of wacky stuff that's happening with Arya's storyline her subplot is uninteresting to me i wish she never went there i wish she never learned anything from that guy who gave her a coin that i don't even understand and at the end of the day i really hope that at some point in this season she gets her sight back you know sacks up and you know what get the fuck out of there and never go back next time when technology's built in the game of thrones universe you drop a nuclear bomb on their fucking heads and never go back that's what i say but at the end of the day uh, Arya stark has become very uninteresting to me granted i know she's gonna have she's she's definitely gonna become more skilled as time goes by which explains the fight scene that she had but overall it was just boring and just uninteresting to me the sansa as i stated before the sansa stuff felt more interesting because she has the legitimate problems now she has brianne with her now but however she still has ramsey you know fucking up her ass and then there's those rumors going around that oh is sansa stark pregnant with Ramsey's bastard spawn of a child who knows I don't know but there's a lot of wacky stuff that's up in the air and that's pretty much the the thing you could take away from this episode everything's up in the air shit's gonna go down but we don't know where it's gonna play out first that being said my final verdict for this episode has to be a solid I guess 7.5 out of 10 there were some cool things you know we got to see some characters have some interesting t talks I mean like you know Tyrion and Having his discussions are always awesome. Daenerys name dropping Khal Drogo, really cool. You know, freaking seeing, you know, Sansa Stark and uh, get saved by Brienne was fucking awesome. But beyond that, everything else was just meaningless and kind of boring to me. So that's pretty much the best thing I can take away from this episode. But however, with that being said, I'm still excited for the overall episode, uh, uh, season rather, and I can't wait to see where this stuff goes on. And based off the teasers for future episodes. We're going to get shit going down. We get to see Bran come back. We get to see what the heck are dragon, Daenerys dragons are going to do. You know, there's a lot of wacky stuff that's going to go down in this season. So I'm definitely excited. And let me know what you personally think in the comment section below. Overall, my final verdict for the season six premiere of Game of Thrones is a solid 7.5 out of 10. It's an okay, good episode, but it wasn't amazing. It wasn't a grand epic return. It was just okay. But let me know what you think in the comments section below. With that being said, shameless plug time. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Josh12. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And hope you guys enjoyed. And this has been Josh12.